everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. We're gonna talk about decoupage mistakes. Hello, my fellow DIYers. I don't know if uh, a lot of you are decoupagers or not. I do, on occasion, do decoupage. And uh, I decided that for a project that I had, a waterfall wardrobe, I was gonna decoupage the panels on the doors because I had this really fantastic vintage looking paper. And I messed it up. <laughs> I didn't just mess it up. Like, I, I, it's the worst thing you've ever seen in your entire life. So I thought, like when I did it, I knew it was going wrong. So I tried to peel it off while I was working on it. And that didn't work out too well. It just, you can't peel it off. You can't take decoupage off. The only way to get it off is to get a sponge and some water and like hose the whole thing down and scrub really hard. I, I don't have that in me. <laughs> I'm just not gonna lie. I am, I have no interest in doing that whatsoever, but I wanted to save the panels for this door. Let me show you. So here they are. Here's one of them. And as you can tell, it wrinkled and it, it just bubbled and wrinkled. And I actually do know a trick for uh, decoupaging without that happening and I forgot it. I just I just went to town on this project and didn't even think about it until like halfway through the first one that screwed up. And then I was kicking myself for being so stupid. Because I know that you you know you put the decoupage glue on, you let it dry. Then you take an iron and you iron the paper to the decoupage. It reactivates the glue and you get beautiful bubble free. I didn't do that. So now I'm at the point of recovery. What do you do? What do you do when you've messed it up this bad? I mean, I can't take it off here. It's not gonna come off there. I'm a big fan of if you stumble, make it part of the dance. So, I've stumbled. I'm not out of the dance yet. We're gonna make it part of the dance. And what I'm gonna do is, I gotta get this as much off of here as I can. The loose stuff has to come off. So this is what happens when you try and pull it off when it's wet too. It just sticks. And then you're just stuck with big chunks of it still in place. And it looks terrible. And you can't paint over it because it'll look terrible. So in looking at this, when I was looking at it, I did the other panel. And uh, when I was looking at it, this reminds me of vintage wallpaper that's been torn from a wall. It's kind of got that shabby chic look to it. So you see, you've see, seen houses where the wallpaper starts to peel and it gets torn away. And so it kind of had that look about it. Fear not, I'm not gonna leave it like this. I am going to take and layer my decoupage. So what I'm gonna do is, the reason I've saved all these little bits of paper is I'm gonna use them to layer on in a very shabby, chic, random way. So hopefully that'll work. <laughs> I have no idea. I've done this process before where I've done, I've layered decoupage before and I use sheet music and it turned out super cute. This will be the first time that I'm using a floral paper and actually trying to salvage something that I made a mistake on. Because in the past, I'd scrub it off. And today I don't want to, I just don't want to. <laughs> Let 
me be clear. I know what I need to do, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna try to salvage it, to fix it. So I've done tissue decoupage and I've done uh, the sheet music decoupage and they turn out really cute. So I don't feel like this is gonna be a big mistake and I'm gonna just get after it. So what you need to do is tear the remaining paper that's not been decoupaged on into sections and then we're gonna put decoupage glue on and stick the pieces in layers over each other. So overlapping layers. Um, I'll get the camera turned around and I'll show you that. Okay. Okay, so there it is all laid out. And as you can see, it's just, it's not pretty. You can see the edges are all torn away here and it's not very pretty. But what I'm going to do is take these pieces of paper and I'm gonna tear them in a random pattern so you don't have tons of straight lines on there because it looks prettier that way. And then I'm gonna actually use clear coat nut decoupage glue this time because I wanna get the pieces underneath here sealed down and I want the stuff on the top to stay put. So if you didn't know, you can use clear coat as decoupage glue. You absolutely can. I use it all the time. And it seals it as you go, which decoupage, decoupage glue does too. But you know, I always have clear coat and I run out of decoupage glue fast because they're small pieces. But then I'm gonna layer it just like that. So you see here I've layered that piece and then I glued it down with the roller. And I'm gonna grab another piece and I like the bigger pieces because it gets a little chaotic with too small of a piece. But basically, I'm just gonna take these and layer them up. And I'm gonna try and get as many of the little, I think these are peonies, these are the other double blossoms, um, double blossom rose or vintage rose. as many of those showing as possible. Cover that spot there. The very, very edge of this is gonna be covered um, when it gets put into the door, so it's not gonna be seen. But um, yeah, I'm gonna basically just layer up the entire edge like that. And I'm gonna put some random pieces in the middle where there's some wrinkles in here to make that part of the design as well. So we're basically taking everything that I hosed up and we're making it part of the design. We're gonna make it look like I meant to do that. <laughs> and you and I are gonna be the only people who know the difference. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh my goodness sake. I want this to be more of an intentional shabby chic than a I just messed up shabby chic. Does that make sense? I'm like trying to make it, we're gonna make it intentional. Okay. Let me put you on time lapse. thinking that you've messed up so bad sometimes you can still make it work so thanks for watching everyone if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please click the link below and don't forget if you haven't got your junkin buddy or happy junkin shirt and our new super junker shirt click the links below and get yours today thanks for watching everyone bye Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.